Sarah. Whenever I was out there, wreaking havoc on other planets, it felt like someone was watching me. It wasn't Huey. It was like someone was looking out for me. But I get it now. I finally understand. That was you, Sarah. You were watching over me. Yes. I was always watching. Out of sight, but always there for you. You were made for me. You were made by me. I had to make up for what I'd done. I had to turn those regrets into a source of motivation. You're just my original, and that's all. The one that created me, used me, that's all on Luther. But me, I'm an absolute fool. I let someone take advantage of my ignorance, and people got hurt. But Huey forgave me. That one, too. I'm not sure how everyone else in ARCS feels, but I decided to forgive myself. If I can't forgive myself, then I don't deserve anyone's forgiveness. I'm immature, an idiot, a fool, but I made a choice to live as myself. As clear as craze! Stop worrying about me. Clone, original, none of that matters. I'm me, and you're you, Bonehead. Wow. I wasn't expecting to get told off by such a cheeky little brat. What? What was that, Bonehead? We're basically the same height! Now is not the time for a sister fight. We're not sisters. I am Clara. Sarah. Craze. Guys, I'm sorry. I put you through a lot. This isn't like me at all. Lars Grace? I'm the only one left now. The rest are gone. Gone before I could ever talk to any of them. That's why I wanted to talk with you. Bone... Uh, Sarah... 
Yeah. I guess it's about time I stopped running and faced the truth, too. We done with our little sisterly squabble, then? We're not... <sighs> you know what? Forget it. Also, where did they go? All's well that ends well. But don't you think that was maybe just a bit too intense? Pretty heartless. I mean, making someone uncover the truth, you know, on their own like that? She had to face it sooner or later, and the sooner, the better. Plus, one of them acts a bit too tough when she's with a certain someone. You're honestly far too protective of that girl, Huey. <laughs> Listen to you. I mean, you're here watching over the whole thing. Which one of us is overprotective again? <laughs> Cut me some slack here. If we weren't here, I doubt it would have turned out this way. <laughs> Gotta let them figure these things out for themselves. But, thanks for sticking along for the ride. I appreciate it. <sighs> she ought to be good to go on her own from now on. Huh. Hang on now. Is it just me, or are those two fighting? Whoa! I think they just set Cobra Khan flying! Nice catch! Nice catch? But seriously, I thought I was a goner there. It looked like a happy ending, when suddenly they go off on each other. And for what? Getting, I don't know, tears and snot on their clothes? Huh. They both have a tendency to get quite worked up, don't they? Ah, like two angry peas in a pod. All right, Huey, we'd better go break it up. You bet! We are currently preparing a large-scale operation for all ArcSops to fight enemies in their local regions. How long must she suffer because of you? You've seen how this burden to save everyone affects her. You've seen how the darkness aided her until she resigned herself to fate. Yet here you are, ready to force her through it all once again. In the end, words are just that. Words. You cannot change how this will end. If you truly intend to deliver her from despair, you need to act quickly. I haven't 
seen you in so long. I was running all over the place working on acquiring special arcs authorizations, and you seem plenty busy yourself. You can probably tell as much already, but I'm pretty happy to see you again. Wait, you do remember me, right? Please don't tell me you forgot. It's me, Matoi, the one and only. Remember? Oh yeah, I thought a change of pace was in order. Or a new way to express myself, maybe? I'm going to be a real deal arts operative. After begging and pleading, Xiao is finally giving me authorization. Now I'll finally be able to fight alongside you. Yep, it's time to earn my keep too. That's why you called me up here today, isn't it, Chao? As Ark's Overseer, you're going to grant me authorization, aren't you? Before I give you special permission, there's still one more lesson I need you to learn, Matoy. What kind of lesson? No classrooms involved, I hope. Don't get all pouty just yet. Our friend here will hear you out. Okay then, I'm listening. You really are an easy read. Now then, this lesson isn't any sort of formal lecture. I just want to get you both up to date on the current state of arcs. I'll be skipping over a lot of the history and finer details, but you can always ask me later about anything you want to know. Uh-huh. That's not the most reassuring of responses, but all right, let's talk about arcs as a whole. Arcs had finally overthrown the puppet leadership Luther had in place. We lost Xion in the process, but there's no point on dwelling on that. What's done is done. It has taken us roughly half a year to get Arcs up and running again, to put it back on its proper trajectory. Back then, six months ago, there certainly was a real uproar when I said I would oversee the management of Arcs. But now everyone treats it like it's completely natural. Time really does normalize all. Next, let's talk about enemies. The Fallspawn. To be quite honest, the situation isn't great. Well, just take a look at this footage. That planets were just... wiped out... like it was nothing. It copied a planet it consumed simply to smash it into another, playing with celestial bodies as if they were mere toys. Instead, it appears this horrible new Dark Falls, known as Gemini the Duplicate, destroys for the sheer thrill of it. Gemini. Gemini is already headed for its next target. The planet Harukatan, recently discovered and home to an alien civilization. That's Gemini's next stop. We... 
need to get over there then. Right. Which brings me to my last topic. Ark's mission. Our mission now. Is to wipe out the fall spawn and every dark falls out of existence and protect the lives of the universe's myriad inhabitants, right? Looks like you at least remember that much. Hey, got a moment? Can you keep an eye on Matoy and stick with her as often as you can? There's no telling when Persona the Mast might strike again like they did ten years ago. Plus... I appreciate your dedication, but don't forget. Ten years ago, she nearly became the profound darkness. This is an unavoidable truth. And while she seems fine now, there's no telling what might happen. No one knows. Not me, not you, not even her. Hey, what's the matter? Let's get going. She's in your hands now. You know what you have to do, right, Sarah? If anything should happen with those two, let me know immediately. What sort of plan are you cooking up this time? I'm actually hoping that nothing happens whatsoever.